Hello everybody, my name is Herman Lewis and welcome to my channel, The Last Natufian. Today we're going to look at a pillar that is not at Gobekli Tepe, but it is related to it. And But first let's talk about the pillar rules. As always, no people, no places, rivers on the edges, and terrain on the faces. I added Urfa right here because that's where it would be on this pillar. Now I've read all the pillars at Gobekli Tepe. And I even joked about how I, I need more pillars because I've read them all. Well, one did show up recently. And I did, um, on Twitter, I went and put it out there. But here on YouTube, I haven't. And this is Sefer Tepe. It's a single T-shaped pillar. You can see it there with three symbols on it, right? You've got the parallel lines and these two symbols right here. You've got a rectangle, right? A nice clean rectangle and a shaped rectangle right here. Now, I know that the parallel lines are water, Okay. And why? Because we use it on C27, right? Here's the Nile. Here's the, the first Sphinx. Here's Fam, the, the Oasis of Fam. I did a video on that. But you see the parallel lines behind it, just like the parallel lines here. That means water, okay? And that's on other pillars, too, on the edges. Like, here's the Euphrates. Here's the Euphrates and all of its components on D33. This is just a beautiful pillar. Beautiful. So on here, we're looking for water, right? And it has something in this shape, uh, in this shape at the beginning and the end. And here's a, here's a closer look at what we're talking about. You know, a shaped rectangle here. So it's something specific like this, right? And, and a rectangle like this. Now, I haven't seen them before, but we went on a, on a hunt and I found them. So where is uh, Sefer Tepe? Where is it? And so I went in on my phone and looked, and uh, here's Gobekli Tepe, here's Karahan Tepe, here is Sefer Tepe, okay? Now, Sefer Tepe is a little outside of this area. And why do I say that? Because if you can see here, that's a, see the legs down here of the sheep? And on the tail here is where, where Karahan Tepe is? Well, that's on pillar A1. Here's a, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Here's a cleaner look, all right? So here you got Gobekli Tepe up here, you've got uh, Karahan Tepe here, but Sefer Tepe's out here. Here are the sheep hills, and that's what you're seeing on A1 here, All right? We've shown this before. Here's the uh, Haran, here are the sheep, here's the sheep, right? The sheep hills, and you see it right here. I've boxed it out for you, but the point here is that it's not on this pillar, but it's right in here. If it was on this pillar, it would be down here, right? In, the, in this area right here, maybe those chip marks, but they don't give up their places that easily. Now, there is another pillar in this area, and this is D30, an amazing pillar. So here you've got Mount Karaka, right? And on the right, it's saying that the, the right water is coming off of it right here. That big water here turns into three, and you've got this little animal here. Well, I've drawn this before, and here is Mount Karaka. Here is that right stream turning into the other streams, and here is the mountain, right, that, that touches the, the river. But what about all this water in here? You see that? So that pillar was only talking about, there's nothing on that pillar about this area. So I've named them here. Here's Karaka Dog. Here are the names of the creeks, right? And here are the names of the, uh, uh, of the creeks down here. All right, just beautiful. But if you'll notice, Sefer Tepe would be right in here, but it's not. It's not. Now, there's another pillar that deals with this area, and that is the Vulture Stone. Up on the right here, there's Mount Karaka. I've done this before. Here's Mount Karaka. Here is that area. Here is that watershed right here going through. Uh, uh, it's actually the same area as D30, but down into the Euphrates River. Okay. It's beautiful. All right. And I've drawn this out before as well. So here's Mount Karaka, right? Here's that watershed coming into here, right? Here's the fish. Here's the square or rectangle tail of the fish of Haran. And of course, the bird, the outline of that is is. Is, is the Euphrates River and, of course, the beautiful duck here, right? I mean, that, that you see right here. See the duck behind the legs of the Euphrates. Just, just, just beautiful. Just gorgeous and accurate, right? So the arrow I put in here, that's where Sefer Tepe is. So it's right in the middle of this area here, right? So what are they talking about? What, what's going on? What is this? What is this place here? Well, let's go take a look at a map. So I brought up a map of... where Sefer Tepe is, okay? And here it is. Let me make this a little smaller here. There you go. Okay, here's Sefer Tepe. In the middle of some farmer fields, I'll zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, okay? And as I've shown you before, here's Haran. That's where it is, okay? Now, they say there's water, so let's go to the terrain mode. 
and zoom back in. What's the nearest water to Sefer Tepe? Well, it's right here. See this blue line right here? If you can see it, it's right here. Let me zoom in right here. I'm going to follow it with my pen here. All right, it's right up here, keeps going, keeps going. So I'm just going one way or the other. It's the nearest water. And this ends on this map right here, but that's not the end of the story for this water. I'm telling you that right now. That's gonna come up in another video. But for this purpose, for right here, it doesn't help us. So let's go the other way. So here's the water. It's not too far from Gobekli Tepe. I mean, excuse me, from uh, uh, Sefer Tepe. And so people need water. So if you follow this water this way, right away it becomes another creek, a bigger creek and flows down, flows down, flows down. So I just followed that, and what do you think it became? Look at this. It became a rectangle. The two streams come together, become one, and what does that become? Let me show you. It becomes, that, it becomes the missing part of the rivers of those snakes on D30. So it's these waters here. So look at that. You can just see it. It's just absolutely beautiful, right? Look at that rectangle, two into one. That's something special, and that's why they have it there. Now let's take a look at the other way. You're going to love this. So look at these two streams. So it's the land in between. They're talking about the land in between these two streams. These two streams come up. They come up here. They come up here, right? Let me zoom out a little bit. There, this is where it branches off. Here's where that stream by uh, Sefer Tepe comes through and adds to this, but the main stream comes this way. Same with the other stream. And if you just keep following them up, see the two streams right here and here? There's one, there's the other. If you keep following them and following them, here is the headlands. Now this other pin that I put in, this one here, that's just the, the peak of Mount Karaka. This is Mount Karaka. And that's why it looks like a pillar because it's pinched off on the two sides. Well, then it dawned on me. That's a pillar. It's just a different artist. Looks, looks just, <laughs> it works. So what they're saying, and look, look what's going on. It's the east side. It's the left side of the mountain, right? It's this side of the mountain. So all the waters and land on this strip, this strip of land, you can see it from here, right here between these two. It's all the way into here. So it's a matter of perspective, right? It's just a matter of perspective. So if, if you're looking at, if you're up here, it would look just like that to the east, right? And so it's a perfect explanation. Everything in between, you can right into here. Let's put it into satellite mode and you'll see it. So here where I put the pin, that's where the rectangle is between these two streams, comes up through here. Again, here's Sefer Tepe here. So this is like a landmark, all right, for this area. I mean, just stunning and beautiful. So if you were to draw it, like it would be like this, right? So I just put to the left side, right? You just, all the waters and lands to the rectangle. That's how, that's one way to, that's how, that's how it would be on this pillar or something like that. You could actually just straighten it out. Now, they weren't too interested in the curves of, of a river. It's what, it's the destinations on each end. So that's what's missing on this pillar. As a matter of fact, it's missing so much. If you look closely, it's been chiseled off. This is not smooth like the rest of the pillar. It's not smooth. Look at this. It's been removed off of this. This area. So this, that, that pillar was removed. It's been removed off of the vulture stone as well. Look at that. The exact location of Sefer, Te of Sefer Tepe has been gouged out. Unbelievable. So that's what we're talking about here. Sefer Tepe is this land, and it was given to somebody. It was removed from the pillars that go Beckley Tepe, and a new pillar was made. So it's like a land grant. The, all the, all the uh, um, land titles were at go Beckley Tepe, and this one was given to somebody else. Okay, and it, it had to be removed from go Beckley Tepe because with land titles, you can only have one. So there was somebody that was managing this and was given this, and I know who it was. That's going to come out on a different video. So thank you for watching my videos, everybody. Um, this has been amazing. The next one's even going to be more amazing because I, I found some other things, uh, uh, including Mount Nemrut. And that is on a pillar, and I'm going to show that to you next time. So in the meantime, thanks again, um, and I'll see you on, on, on the next video. Cheers.